Hey, what is going on, you guys? I'm Prakash back from Techers. dot com, and welcome to another episode of Designing in XD. Okay, so in this uh, episode or in this video, we are going to show that how you can transfer your designs from Adobe XD in Android Studio. So in the previous video, we have made a design which looked like this. Uh, so we are going to, you know, transfer it in the Android Studio. So yes, we need to do some work before we can transfer that in the studio. So let's get on with the video. For that, I have made a entirely new project, and still my taskbar is not working. Okay, so I have made an entirely new project, which is uh, design and main activity. I have the main activity dot Java and the XML file of the main activity. So we have to work on the XML file, obviously. So first of all, let's change the app theme to um, light no action bar. Okay, that is the gray version that we are going to look forward to. Okay, so I am going to delete the constant layout and have a relative layout. Yes, it's very easy to work with. Okay, so firstly, let's go to the XD and uh, just copy every element that we have added. Okay, so it's uh, better if you group elements together because it will be nice uh, if you group them together. So if like uh, you can group these three together, oops, by by holding Shift and clicking on that element and selecting them, and then at last clicking Control plus G in order to group that and just name that. It's uh, like a separator. Okay, so I'm going to name as it as separator because you have to identify. Group one is uh, for the email. Uh, sorry, e uh, email. Email. Okay, what am I typing? It's very cold in here, so fingers aren't working. Okay, though. So the password in here, and uh, yes, not a member sign in because we do not have to have any spaces or any uh, uppercase letter or any number in the, you know, in the drawable folder. So we are just going to name. Every of our element, you know, each of our element uh, with the, you know, lowercase letter without any number, and without any special character other than you can use uh, the underscore. Okay, so this is uh, sign up. Uh, what we have here is Facebook. Okay, so we have uh, Instagram. Instagram. We have LinkedIn. Um, linked and uh, then we have Google and if you want to learn how you can uh, you know have the sign in with Google Facebook you can check out our blog and Instagram and LinkedIn are also coming soon so be sure that you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell icon so you can get updated every time I post okay so we have hello which is Self-explanatory, but I'm going to remove that full stop from the end. We have the rectangle too, which is uh, you know I'm going to group it, that with the background, with the mask group that is a background. So I'm just going to group them together and call them BG. It stands for background, and I'm going to okay. So these are our all the elements that we need. Okay, so just right click. On uh, you know after selecting all the elements that you want to export and click on export selected. Now here you can select the category that you want. You can have design iOS, I mean design web and iOS and Android. So we are going to select it at Androids and uh, the keep it uh, very similar. If you want to, if you are designing with a custom artboard, uh, sorry, if you are not designing with a custom artboard and the default artboard. You can keep that in MDPI, which is the medium display. Uh, you know uh, the DPI, and uh, the screen has densities in Android. So basically, if you have ever explored the drawable folder, it has uh, many densities. That is low density screen, high pixel density, and uh, very high pixel density, and very very high and very 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 high pixel density. And stuff like that. So you have low pixel density, medium high, very high, medium high, very high, very very high, and very 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 high. Okay, pixel density. So uh, the design that we are going to create is MDPI, and I would uh, you know, uh, I would like to you to know 
that if you want complete crisp uh, crispness in your design i would not recommend to use these uh, text here in email and password because we are going to have that in edit text so they are kind of okay and each of the element is going to be exported as a png file so you have to set the background for each element okay so i'm going to show that how you can do it okay so just uh, click on Control plus e and select android and select the folder that you want okay so i have that as my desktop and i'm select a new folder and i'm going to make it design and i'm going to select the folder and export it will export all the assets okay so here's the design folder just open it and you can see that here is the thing now just copy that and just go to the android studio and go to res and go and right click on the drawable and uh, click on the show in explorer option it will open up the file explorer and just paste in it in here so we have drawable and drawable with all the pixel densities okay you you can see that in here it will refresh itself and you can see that in here we have everything okay so let's begin with designing certain things now first we are going to set the background of the relative layout the background that we have uh, decided so that's bg okay so what android studio does if you are you know exporting anything from from an external source you need to sync file uh, with this or uh, it's an easy solution to just close and reopen android studio it's quite fast than resyncing all the file it will sync every file when it's uh, you know when it restarts so that's an entirely you know you uh, that's entirely your choice if you want to sync the files again uh, the, just build and do a clean build if you want to have them or just reopen android studio okay so we are back after syncing that okay so let's assign a background to the relative layout which is bg and let's see if that has implemented successfully come on open the design and yes just go to app theme and no action bar and that is cool quite good and what we are going to add next is uh, an image view which will be like this which will be a hello and yes and here we go and what next we are going to uh, it's better that you have uh, a layout which is a you know linear layout it's better but you know for making a video or for the sake of making a video i'm just uh, going to do that here but it's very uh, you know i would recommend it that you use a linear layout in the uh relative layout do not use relative layout as a direct parent of the element that you are using be sure uh, that you are using certain amount of layout or you can just uh, change this uh, layout to constant layout if you are a beginner so let's change it to constant layout and work like that okay so and here we go and what else we want uh, we have to get to edit text uh, which is an email field and a password field which is alpha numeric and plus special characters okay so edit text email and edit text password I'm going to have that edit text here uh, it's showing me an error because it's not constrained yet uh, i'm going to add a background which will be for email and here we are going to add a background uh, which will be for password and that is it and let's see how it looks yeah absolutely good um, situate that in the middle and boom okay that's good and now i'm going to have another uh, image view that will be for the or and this or the separator that we had designed okay so this is our separator we are going to place it like this here in the center and then now the next thing that we are going to use is a linear layout that is a horizontal linear layout for placing the all the social icons that we need okay so let's place an image view in here which will be google 
where is the linear layout oh oops 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 it's not here dude it's here yeah i'm going to shrink that in here very good what is this okay okay that's an image view fine okay so that's an image view and the next one is that uh for facebook and yes we have facebook here and the next one that we need is instagram we have instagram here and the next one and the last one is linkedin and here we have everything and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just go to the xml and add the gravity to center horizontal and uh, the layout gravity oops let's search for gravity gravity okay it's a direct child for the okay it's a direct child of the constant layout so it would not have a layout gravity but fine okay so you can adjust this uh, by adding a layout margin in the individual pictures I'm going to add a layout margin of 5 on the top and it's going to be in the middle. I'm going to add 5 on the top in here as well and it's going to be in the center. In this, I'm going to add a layout margin of uh, um, let's say 20 at the top. Oops, 20 at the top. I don't know what's on top. Okay, okay. So I'm going to add a padding from the top which will be, 20, uh, which will be about 20. Here we go and uh, yes linkedin should be mm, a bit low that is 3 dp is low yeah you can add padding as well but i'm going to make the image smaller from all the sides so yep so let's add some constraints to it uh, boom boom and boom this is done and let's add the constraint to this one and here we go here we go here we go and here we go we'll have the constraint to all the things so that they do not move and here as well and there we go okay so we have entirely created that design all we need is a hint that will be uh, where's the hint yep email and we have to add a padding there which will be uh, from the start which will be about 30 dp okay more than that will be about uh, 60 dp i think yeah 60 dp is fine and uh, from the yeah from the top it should be allowed like uh, minus five oops Let's add a padding to the bottom, which will be around 10. So it no, it should be around. It should be around five. So it's exactly in the middle. Yeah. So five and 60. So let's duplicate five, and we have a start which is 60, and the hint that we are going to give it is um, password. And perfect. And this is how we make designs uh, with XD and ex export them to the Android Studio. It is looking same. See here it is. Oops, we forgot the sign up. Never mind. We can have another image view in there and have a sign up thing. And there we go. And boom, 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 boom. And that is how we design things beautifully in Android. Okay, so if you guys like this video, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, press that bell icon as always. And uh, if you have any problem, you can just comment down below and let me know if, uh, if you have a quite bigger problem. You can email me to hello at the rate techris.com. I'll be glad to help you, very glad to help you. Okay, thank you guys. I'm signing out.